Hi traders and welcome to our technical video update for this Friday. I want to focus on the two pairs that have been mostly impacted by the Bank of Japan's policy decision on Wednesday and also the Fed's decision that came out on Thursday morning Australian Eastern Standard Time. Well, first of all, going to have a look at the US dollar here against the yen because there is a lesson here for all currency traders with respect to what happens after the next two trading sessions when such significant policy decisions hit the market each month. Now, what we saw here just leading into the Bank of Japan statement was the US dollar rising against the yen. It came up here and hit this trend line right here. And then we saw that policy decision from the Bank of Japan come out and we saw the yen sharply rally and we saw the US dollar start to fall. Then we saw, of course, the US Fed came out and announced that, that it was going to raise rates at a slower pace than the market anticipated. We saw the US dollar continue to fall on the back of that. What it came down to was a low here. A previous low and a very important psychological psychological low of 100 and then what we've seen here from then on late on Thursday and into Friday's trading session today is we've seen the US dollar rebound now what's my point here my point here is this when we see such significant policy decisions shift currency markets watch for that particular currency to move for the following two trading sessions and then a potential reversal, particularly, particularly if we hit a significant support or resistance area. For example, the US dollar started to fall against the yen late in the Asian trading session on Wednesday. Leading into the European and US sessions, we got the Fed statement Thursday morning, the market continued to sell off. So for two trading sessions, that strong selling pressure continued. It hit an area of support and then it started to rally. And that's what we often see, two trading sessions and then potentially often a reversal. And we can see that happening on a few other currency pairs as well, such as the euro against the US dollar. We saw the market rally up to an area of resistance, which are these highs here, back here in early September. And that, of course, was the euro rising after the US dollar being sold, after Janet Yellen's comments that they were gonna raise rates at a slower pace. Then we've seen the euro start to come back and the US dollar strength start to come back into that greenback. If we have a look here and see on the pound against the US dollar, basically the same thing. Pound rallied up selling off the US dollar against it. It hit an area of resistance, which was the 50 EMA. Then we're starting to see that weakness come back into the pound. So from a technical perspective, that can often be a really strong area to look at to either re-enter a position in the direction that you believe the currency is going or exit that short position. And in this case, it would have been exiting a short position on the US dollar for profit. OK, very quickly here, while we're on this particular currency pair, the pound against the US dollar, what we're seeing here on the four hour chart is a potential wave formation to the downside. What we've got is a very low dip here on the awesome oscillator. We've come back to the zero line. So we assume this is the bottom of wave three. I move up for wave number four. That has to have retraced at least 38 percent. And it has. It's come up and hit 38%. It's also hit this 50 EMA, and we're starting to see some sellers come back in. From a probability perspective, it's better than a 50-50 chance now. We'll likely see this market back down at this low or even lower. So that's the pound against the US dollar. But keep in mind, remember, big policy decisions from central banks drive currencies. When we see such decisions, and I'll guide you into them each month, we're likely to see the follow through for the next two trading sessions, then a quick reversal. Have a great weekend. Make sure you join me tonight on Sky News Channel 602. Channel 602. We're going to be crossing to London to talk to Thanos Papasavas about why he thinks this coming Monday is going to be extremely influential for the US dollar 
and the US presidential campaign, and also on Money Exchange tonight, we'll be talking to Tony Sycamore, senior technical strategist at Commonwealth Bank, and he picked the US dollar falling against the Japanese yen perfectly last month, and he's gonna give, give you his top tips on four currency pairs on tonight's show, so make sure you don't miss it. Until Monday, and of course on the Sky News tonight, Money Exchange 6.30, have a great day.